welcome to another lessons for the officer candidate lesson series lesson three in this lesson we'll learn finding average or mean median and mode distance calculation and probability if you want to practice more download the application from the link below to get more practice problem so let's get started so before we do anything as i said always make sure that you have a notebook and a pen so you could write some information and uh, watch the video multiple times and once you watch the video make sure that you do and a practice so that will stick on your brain for a longer time the first thing we learn here is how to find average or mean so average or mean are the same thing if you want to find the mean or average you have to add the numbers you could see there are a few random numbers seven nine seven six eight and ten if you want to find the mean or average of those numbers what you have to do you have to add the numbers and then divide it by the numbers so when you add them up so that gives you 48 if you divided that by 6 that gives you 8 so the correct answer is 8 so this another one this is a, um, a fraction same way add the fraction together um, and then find the average or mean so the sum of the variables then divided by the number of variables so add one third plus eight over twelve five over six right so you remember that previous lesson that if you want to add fraction you have to find the common denominator which is six you could see here and um, then after you find the common denominator you have to find the equivalent fraction so you get that so this this and that if we add them up that gives you 11 over 6 and how many fractions are there there are three fractions so you have to divide by three and you remember how to divide fraction right so keep keep change flip so you have to keep whatever you have here change the sign division into multiplication and then flip it once you find that um, then multiply top to top bottom to bottom that gives you 11 over 18 there are a couple of practice problem you try by yourself and make sure that you get the same answer like um, 66.75 and 3 and 19 over 25 so the next topics will learn um, median how to find the median so median is the mid value of a series of numbers right so if you want to find a median the first thing you have to do you have to write this number in terms of ascending or descending order so that means greatest to smallest or smallest to greatest so um, we wrote here is smallest to greatest so two three four five seven seven eight eight nine so you need to cross out from the first one with last one this one with that one this one with that one this that so this the middle so that is the median so the median is seven here however if you have a two middle number how we could do that so if you have a two middle number after um, uh, ascending or descending orders what do you have to do you have to add the numbers and then divided by two so in the middle we have 78 and 73 so 78 plus 73 divided by two that gives you 151 over two so if you divide that that gives you 55.5 so that is the median the next thing a uh, couple of practice problem as always we have so pause the video and try by yourself make sure that you get these two answers if you get that you should be fine so the next thing is also find um, the mode what is mode the finding the mode is the series of a number right so the mode means that the number occur the most so you see which number comes the most so it seems like three came the most right so three is mode here so uh, make sure that you know the concept sometimes they ask this type of question in the officer candidate test there is another practice problem you try by yourself make sure that is uh, 54 it seems like it is 54 so uh, practice the next thing we we'll learn is a very important um, concept how to find distance time and speed so uh, before we do uh, the actual problem so let's learn what is called speed so speed is the distance travel um, in unit time. So say you are driving from New York 
to Washington DC, so which is around 280 miles, right? And if it takes five hours for you to um, drive, how fast you drove, right? So the how fast you drove is called the speed, right? So if you want to find how fast you drove, that is called rate. So you have to do distance divided by time. So you could write this formula here, R equal to D over T or D equal to RT. So you could write D equal to RT. So remember this formula, you need this formula for many times. Not only in here, you also need some of the mechanical comprehension if you have for the SIP test or for um, ASTB. Um, for the AFOQT, you don't need that. But you need this concept. So say, let's do it a, um, a problem here. So say you are driving from point A to point B, which is 300 miles apart. If you drove 70 miles an hour, so that is your rate, that is your speed, how fast you drove. So you have to find how long did it take to go from point A to point B. So let's write the formula. So rate equal to distance over time. Um, then rate here is 75. And if you simplify that, that gives you T equal to four hours. So if you want to drive from point a to point B, which is 300 miles apart, and if you drive at 70 miles an hour, you need four hours to get there. Okay, already. So um, this is a, a, a practice problem you try. So this is a very interesting problem. I think this problem came in the test before for um, different um, officer candidate test prep. I mean, in, in actual test, right? So say one trip, you drove 350 miles at an average speed of 50 miles an hour. And when you returned home, drove 70 miles an hour, how long did it take to complete the trip? So you have to find two times. So T1, that means how long it took to um, get there. So that means same thing, so distance over time. So use this formula. So um, then find the time here and then another time, how long it took to come, I mean, um, how fast you drove when you come back. So the same 350 miles for both cases. So 350 divided by 70 here and 350 divided by 50 here. So find those, add them up, that gives you 12 hours. So pause the video, try by yourself. Make sure that you understand. So there are very few um, unit conversion um, thing you need to know. So say like one feet equal to 12 inch, one year equal to 36 inch equal to three feet, one pound equal to 16 ounces, one year equal to 365 days, one ton equal to 2000 pound, one hour equal to 60 minute, one minute equal to 60 seconds. So most of them you already know this thing, but let's give you a refresher for that. So now let's learn how to add um, feet, with inch together. So it's not like a typical addition, right? So you have, so say you have four feet, nine inch, add with five feet, seven inch, right? So same way, add them up first. So that gives you nine plus seven is 16 inch, four plus five is nine feet. But anytime if you have an inch more than 12, you need to convert this inch into a feet. So let's do that, that gives you 16 divided by 12, one is 12, this is four. So that means you get extra feet out of that. So if you add them up, so that gives you 10 feet and four inches. So you try by yourself. So this is an example, um, this is a practice problem here. So pause the video um, and try by yourself, make sure that you get this answer. If you get that, you should be fine. The next thing we'll learn is a probability. Probability is also very common um, topics in the officer candidate test. You might see a couple of problems based on that um, from the experience we have by uh, different students. So what do you have to do first? So probability, how we define it is a desired outcome over total outcome, right? So let's, let's apply this concept into a problem to make it more clear. So say like you are rolling a die. How many sides a die has? Six sides, right? It has one, 
two, three, four, five, six, right? So now, what is the probability of getting a three? So how many threes are there? There is only one three, so that is one. And how many total outcome? It could come two, three, four, five, six, or one, right? So there is only one three. So that is a uh, probability of getting a three is one out of six. So just remember this concept. Um, this is another uh, practice problem. So you could do that in a military camp. There are eight artillery men, uh, seven infantry, and pipe tank crew, right? So for a special mission, uh, what is the probability of getting a tank crew man um, to be chosen, right? So now, what is the probability of getting five, uh, how many um, tank crew men? There are five, so that's the five. So how many total? So you need to add eight plus seven plus five, right? So that is 15 plus five is 20. So five out of 20. If you simplify, that gives you one over uh, four. And if you want to uh, make this um, fraction into percent, so that gives you um, 25%. So there is a 25% chance that um, a, a tank crewman will be chosen um, from this group. Okay. So the last one. So this is another um, practice problem. So you try by yourself. So make sure that you get two over seven. If you get that, that should be fine. So after you uh, watch this video, practice by yourself, uh, download the application in the link below and practice lesson three for um, more examples and practice. So it will clear all the concept you need to know for um, this lesson three. And thank you.